Okay, what I'm going to show you now is a touchscreen interface for controlling a Blackmagic Design Video Hub using an ATEM switcher and an Arduino with uh, Ethernet. So um, this, what you see here, is a Blackmagic SmartView Duo and uh, this has been fitted with a touchscreen. So when I press this, you can see that it changes and I now have a menu so I can switch between different input sources down here as you can see and um, I have some other functionalities um, for instance um, so this is a, a media control panel for a lecture hall at my work uh, or an example of what it could be like so the menu has more options we have a, a camera button overhead projector etc let's select the camera uh, there may not be any output there overhead projectors currently some color bars uh, you can uh, mute the projector, which is, of course, currently not working since we don't have a projector connected to this. Uh, and this one is um, a quad view, which uh, shows multiple uh, input sources at once. Okay, um, then I have up here also the quad view as a selection interface. So, for instance, I can select the media input uh, HDMI, VJ. DVI, etc., by just pointing. Um, and um, currently, I have hooked up this monitor as uh, the picture that will be seen on a projector in the room. So, the idea is that the whole um, Blackmagic Smart View Duo is, is mounted on the lectern just in front of uh, a lecturer, and uh, he'll be able to, to um, control his input sources, switch to VGA, HDMI, etc., just by touching the screen here and uh, this will be the picture he sees on the projector. And in fact, what we plan is to have two projectors in each room, so this touch screen will be actually also over here, so you'll have a touch screen here, touch screen here, to control the, in, uh, the input sources to the two projectors in the room. Okay, so um, we can go back to the menu here, and uh, when we go back to the menu, you can see, uh, yeah, I could continue to switch, etc. So basically what happens is behind the screen there is a little Arduino and this Arduino is in contact with a Blackmagic Video Hub uh, Micro which uh, has uh, SDI input 16 and 16 HDMI, uh, sorry, SDI outputs. Uh, also for generating the quad view I have a decimator MD quad which allows us to create the, the quad view. Um, and um, so basically uh, when I'm touching the screen up here what happens is that input sources are swapped around uh, on the Blackmagic Micro Video Hub and you'll be able to see that when I uh, touch for instance select DVI you'll be able to see as I do now that input 2 is now routed input 2 is now routed to output um, 1 and, um, and I could go on like that choose uh, HDMI and you'll see the same happens right here. Okay, so technically the way I do this is actually that in order to generate the menu graphics overlaid on, on a live video picture I simply use a Blackmagic um, switcher and, and currently I have a, um, a 1ME switcher connected um, but in fact what I do is I upload PNG files with the transparency to um, the media pool and uh, when I, I change things up here, uh, the Arduino sends a command to the 1ME switcher to change the, the graphics from the media pool, uh, which the downstream key, in this case, keys onto the video image. So this whole thing is programmed in the Arduino using the uh, ATEM library for the Arduino. So let me just show you that I, for instance, changes to VGA here. You'll see that um, the selection for Media Bank 1 will change like that, you see it goes back to 5 and as I navigate around the menu you'll see that um, the, the graphics uh, simply changes naturally uh, I go to menu, I go to HDMI source I also have this uh, functionality that I could send an RS232 code to the projector to uh, freeze the image and uh, this functionality uses the other downstream key so that's uh, Media Bank 2, which is uh, enabled when I do this. Okay, uh, so this is really a 
great example of how uh, modded black magic design products are used to create this very unique media um, uh, yeah control interface for uh, input sources in uh, in an AV installation. So we have a smart view duo modded with the touch screen. We have an Arduino Ethernet board which is controlling a black magic switcher and uh, we have a uh, black magic video hub micro connected as well to the Arduino so the Arduino essentially creates a link between a black magic switcher and a black magic micro video hub